successful event requires careful time planning and management. At the beginning and in the middle of every year, a general roundtable discussion schedule will be compiled for the next six months. Based on this schedule, the regional manager shall approve an event plan approximately six weeks before the roundtable discussion. Five weeks before the event date, a site availability confirmation and a cost estimate shall be received from your agency. Simultaneously, a medical representative in cooperation with the regional manager shall approve a list of doctors who will be invited to the event. The SP3 voting process shall be launched five weeks before the event. During week four and week three before the event, the medical representative shall submit a purchase order to the agency and endorse the final budget. Simultaneously, the agency, together with the event initiator, confirms the site reservation and starts coordinating the equipment installation process, the implementation of the selected concept, and the catering. Working with the key opinion leader also requires special preparations. First of all, it is necessary to identify the key opinion leader with whom you will cooperate for the forthcoming event. It is very important to inform the key opinion leader about your expectations, as well as the event concept, expenses, and their role in the process. A meeting should be held with the key opinion leader prior to the event to familiarize the opinion leader with the event program. Also, an approved presentation template corresponding to the company's corporate style shall be used for roundtable discussions. Please remember that several days prior to the event, you should print out the presentations for the participants and provide them with copies on the day of roundtable discussion. Attention should be paid to the following guidance when inviting participants. It is important to compile a list of participants to ensure that the audience corresponds to the scientific topic to be discussed. Once you determine the A-B categories of doctors due to the SIT, six weeks prior to the event, it is necessary to draft an initial list of proposed participants for the roundtable discussion, and the regional manager shall endorse this list. The recommended audience should consist of 20% of Category A doctors and 80% of Category B doctors. It is preferable to make personal invitations to the roundtable discussion participants. A personal invitation makes it possible for you to describe the event in detail, and in this way, it increases the likelihood that the invitee will visit the roundtable discussion. A personal invitation shall be delivered to a prospective participant five weeks before the event. An SMS or email reminder about the forthcoming event shall be sent to the participants three days before the event. In the event of any changes in the list of participants, you should notify your immediate supervisor in advance. It should be approved by medical department during two days after the event. If you are organizing an event based on the Swiss approach to quality concept, this video will show you examples of best practices for holding this type of event. This concept enables you to emphasize the high quality of Santos products. The Swiss approach to quality concept is a discussion in roundtable format. The recommended number of invitees is 25 to 30, and its duration is 3 hours, including breaks. Using Swiss attributes will underline the unique atmosphere of the event. This concept requires the participation of two Sandos representatives and one lecturer, speaker, or spokesperson. For this event, it will be suitable to use a conference hall of 50 to 70 square meters in a four-star hotel maximum or a business center from the list of previously approved potential sites for roundtable discussions. It is best in advance to organize a U-shaped arrangement of seats for the participants in accordance with the common space. The following shall be used for creating an atmosphere corresponding to the Swiss approach to quality concept. One large banner, two wide stands with Swiss landscapes, one in the hall and one near the registration desk. Seven or more tabletop flags. At the event, you should also use promotional materials for drugs that are recommended for this cycle by the marketing specialists and approved by your manager, and which have not yet expired in accordance with SP3. Please note that the medical representative is responsible for all materials and shall return them to the office or warehouse immediately after the event. The conference hall shall have the following equipment, a projector, a screen, 
two microphones, a sound system, the medical representative's laptop with all necessary connectors, and a remote control to chain slides. Registration shall start 15 minutes before the event. Coffee, tea, water, cookies, and chocolate should be offered to the participants during the registration process. The Sandos medical representative shall meet the guests and direct them to the registration desk, and during this process they should exchange their business cards and contact information. The medical representative shall welcome the guests and deliver an opening speech. A Sandos employee shall remind the audience about the event program and concept, and also shall introduce the guest key opinion leader to the participants. At that point, the key opinion leader shall deliver their presentation on the scientific topic to be discussed. The presentation shall be followed by a question and answer session, after which the medical representative shall thank the key opinion leader and distribute a short survey among the roundtable discussion participants. The roundtable discussion participants shall be surveyed before the start of the buffet, and every participant shall submit his or her questionnaire. The event shall end with the medical representative's closing remarks, at which time the participants shall be invited to enjoy a prearranged buffet. The buffet menu shall include Swiss fondue, snacks, and beverages. Within three days after the roundtable discussion, the employee who initiated the event shall complete a final report in the CRM system. In addition, the employee must also complete a roundtable discussion attendance report and immediately submit a completed template to M&SS. Within seven days after an educational event, it is necessary to have a follow-up visit with each doctor who participated. During the beginning of this visit, it is important to determine whether or not the doctor has received adequate, useful information that will assist them in using and recommending relevant Sandos products in the future. We wish you successful roundtable discussions. Together, we will achieve more.